priest took the bread. He said a blessing that I had heard a thousand times before. He said the same words of consecration. This is my body. And I looked up and when I heard him say it for one split second, I just said to myself, what if? What if that's really God? What if that's really what he says it is? What if that's really who he says it is? What if? And that was a day that God went from being an if or a what to a whom. It was like God came really near, really close, and pulled me really close to him and said, you're mine, and I'm never letting you go. That's why he comes to us in the Mass. That's why he makes himself so accessible and so available, because he wants your heart. We need the Lord within us if we're gonna be able to affect a change in the world, because you have the power to change the world. The power to change the world flows from the church and from her sacraments. For 2,000 years, the same mass, the same readings and prayers that the saints heard, we hear. God loves you. He wants to fill you with his life. The question is, will you let him? He's going down the aisle with the servers. They're walking, they're processing somewhere. And when we stand, it's like we're going with him. He's going somewhere. He's going to the altar. And when the priest gets there, that's why he goes up to it and he bows down and he venerates the altar, he kisses the altar. Because this, this altar, this is the place which is the source of all grace. not feel like it, but everything we do at the Mass is meant to be an encounter with Jesus. We don't show up to just talk about Jesus and we don't show up to simply learn about Jesus. Everything in the Mass is oriented towards actually meeting Jesus. And the most profound place that we will ever encounter Jesus on this earth is in the Eucharist.
filled with the very presence of God, we are sent with that final blessing out into the world to be the presence of God to a world that longs for him.